Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for this special winter comforts episode of Apex Luxury TV. We are in the exquisite 34 Fog Point Road in Freeport. It's a five bedroom, four full bath home on 16 private waterfront acres, and you even have your own dock. And you can see this gorgeous floor to ceiling granite fireplace behind us. And we're really excited that our very own Katie today is gonna show you how to do some fire making magic. Thank you, Maggie. So, in 2016, I co-founded a company that taught adults useful skills, and starting a fire is a useful adult skill. So, this is a beautiful, large fireplace, and what I'm going to do is go through the steps and then show you. You wanna make sure that you have seasoned firewood. You wanna make sure that you have kindling, which is your smaller pieces of wood, you want some newspapers. I collect the circulars that come to you for free in your mailbox, and I save them for fires um, or in the backyard when we do bonfires. So that's easy to collect. And I'm going to show you a little tip on how to make your fires even more beautiful with some Epsom salt soaked pine cones. So to start out, I put two large seasoned dry wood logs in the fireplace already. I am going to add in some kindling in the middle between them, and then I'm going to add the newspaper. I have some balled up newspaper, like this, and I have some newspaper that I twisted into longer shapes. And first, you wanna make sure that your flue is open in your chimney, which I've done ahead of time, right? So that opens up the chimney to make sure that the smoke goes out of the house instead of coming back into the house, which is not good for anything. Also, make sure that you don't have anything flammable besides what you want to burn in the fireplace, right? So, you know, that sort of stuff is kind of common sense. You might wanna have a fire extinguisher handy. Um, make sure that there's one in the house. If you are renting a property like this, I would just check on those things before you start your fire. All right, going to add in newspaper. I'm gonna put kindling on top of the newspaper. are new to building fires at all in general, one thing to remember is that fires are fed from two of the most important things, oxygen and whatever you're burning, so flammable fuel. And I'm not going to start lighting right into it. I'm going to light this long rolled up piece of newspaper first and get this burning. And then I'm going to use this like the other paper and then eventually I'll just put this piece of newspaper in that. and if some of the paper like on this side didn't catch I can do that again and if you need to you can use your match or lighter and catch it on fire in there and if you find that the kindling is not catching fire right away, you just want to keep getting the newspaper lit up. And then the newspaper is on fire, and then the kindling, the small sticks or logs are on fire. And then the larger logs are on fire. It looks like everything's starting to catch in the middle, where I kind of had that pattern of newspaper and kindling and so the middle is going to start getting a nice fire, and then the goal is to have the larger log catch fire from there. Once that's going, you can add more of the larger log, but let this really start first, because the more of the larger logs that you put onto the fire, the less oxygen there is. So you wanna make sure that it's going really well before you add more fuel and take away oxygen. If you need to move the logs around at all, or the kindling to make sure it's catching fire, you want to use the poker to not reach into the fire. Okay, 
So, we have a small fire going in the center. I'm going to add a few smaller pieces of wood to get it going even better. So, my last tip for this fireplace today, before I would add any more larger logs on, I have some pine cones that I gathered just from my backyard, and I soaked them in a basin of hot water and Epsom salt. And it was about a cup of Epsom salt every half gallon of water. And I let them soak for six hours. You could let them soak longer than that. Um, and then you let them dry. And you want to let them dry a pretty long time. These ones may not even be dry long enough. Um, you can tell if they're drier when these, it gets fuller, right? So the pine cone, this end is not quite as dry as it could be. Um, and you could put them on a cookie sheet at 225 um, and let them dry out and puff out a little bit more. But the Epsom salt um, creates a little bit more color in your fire. It might just be more of a white. And normally I would put these in with the kindling and not really toss them in, but it's okay to do it. Okay. So now we have the start of a nice roaring fire in this gorgeous fireplace. It'll keep you nice and warm on these cold winter days and nights in Maine. So make sure your fire is completely up before you go to bed. And in this case, there is a metal grate curtain here. So you want to close that up while you're sitting around the fire so that no sparks come out or can catch your rug on fire or yourself. So stay nice and safely back from it and stay warm. Thank you. Well, Katie, I must say I've known you for 20 years and I had no idea <laughs> that you had this incredibly useful main skill, but I'm yeah. very happy to stand in front of this gorgeous fireplace at 34 Fog Point Road in Freeport. And if you would like to come make a fire or stay in the five bedroom, four full bath house here on 16 private waterfront acres, please visit apexluxuryrentals.com or give us a call directly. Thank you so much, Katie, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.